What's going on everyone and welcome back. My name is Joe and this is Crypto Insight. It has been quite a while since I've made a video and I would just like to say that we are back. We're going to try and do at least one video every week until our um, viewership starts picking back up again and then I'm going to start pushing out two and three videos a week. So um, if you guys saw my post uh, in the community a few days ago, I said that I was going to be starting a mining shed um, and that's what this video um, series, I guess you can call it over the next week or two, is going to be about. I started ordering all the parts and I would like to show you guys some of the parts that have come in. I'm going to show you guys how I have my rig set up around my new house. Uh, I'm actually heating my house for free currently with all the rigs that I have going, which are just the three that I have. Um, I have added a few cards and we're going to go over that. And I would like to take you down and show you the shed uh, just so you guys can get an idea of what's going on. So yeah, if that sounds interesting, make sure you like this video and you subscribe to the channel because there will be a lot more videos to come. And if you're interested in a bigger investment like this, building a mining shed, uh, exactly what it, what it takes, how much money I, I spent and everything like that, those are things that I'm going to go over over the course of these videos. So um, ask questions down below and I will always do my best to answer as many of them as I can. Um, sometimes I don't get to all of them because there is so many people that ask questions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this video by going over some of the parts and components that I ordered for my shed. And then I'm going to go over the size of the shed and everything like that whenever we get down there. So now I was a little hesitant to even make this video because I am missing quite a few parts still and they should be in over the next few days um should start putting them actually all together this weekend i'm really hoping so i ordered 15 30 90s is what i ordered to start so i'm going to do five rigs um i mean sorry three rigs with five cards on each rig um these are just some backup motherboards that i have but i actually ordered i believe they're uh msi mpg um z390 um gaming edge laptops. I got a really good deal from somebody in Texas on three brand new ones, and I believe those are the uh, motherboards that I got. I'm still waiting on them. Um, I decided to go with the GeForce RTX 3090s because they're obviously the best and most efficient right now. Um, I went with uh, Zotech because I got a really good deal on them from a gentleman from New York City. He was able to actually get me 10 of these, so those are just the ones I figured I'd end up getting. Um, I got 1300 watt EVGA power supplies and I also got a couple uh, thousand watt ones. Um, the only reason I got the thousand watt ones is just because I got some really, I got a really good deal on them. I got them for like a hundred bucks a piece. They were a really, really good deal and they're brand new. Um, probably gonna have to pick up one more of the 1300 watt guys here. Um, but that's about all. I got my screens and stuff right here. I, I got three screens, one for each now. Some people constantly ask me why I don't just get the little LCD screens that go on, like the little six or seven inch ones. And honestly, I'm just really, really cheap. Um, those screens, I can find them for like 40 or 50 bucks, but these ones, I actually get these for like $10 a piece. Like I, I, I think I honestly paid, I was a little over 10 bucks a piece for these screens. Um, a lot of times you can find companies that get salvage clean outs and they actually get these screens um, regardless of condition for free. So if they can basically just sell them for the sh for the discounted shipping cost that they get it for then they they make money on the back end from the shipping because they do so much in volume so um they're they're a really good deal and that's why i buy the bigger screens as you can see like this one right here is a really good example it's hooked up to this rig it's broken in the back and but but it works um it's clunky and big but it does work so that's why i buy them they're super cheap so once again, I got three of those here. I got some connectors here. I got all my ethernet cables for down in the shed. Um, there's some adapters and stuff in there, but pretty much all my stuff, these are uh, my power strips for the rigs to directly go into. They are um, surge protecting and all that stuff. So the cards are safe. Now I'll move on to the rigs that are heating my house because I've actually had a few people tell me that there's no way I'm heating my whole house with just three rigs. Um, actually am. My house stays nice and toasty, right at around 73 to 75 degrees. I actually have to have windows open. As you can see, I got that window open, and then I got another window open right here by it, and it's able to blow some air through into my living room. Um, so <clears throat> I can't remember exactly how many cards I had since the last time I was making videos because I believe it has been quite a few months, but I believe I had right around 10 to 12 cards. I now have 15 cards running. Um, this was my smallest rig. I just recently built a frame for it and I got it all put together on here. I, ne I know I need to do a little better job cable management. You guys can roast me in the comments. Um, currently on this rig, 
I have, these are three Zotac 3090s. This one, this one, and this blue one over here. Uh, the two in the middle, I actually won these both on Newegg Shuffle. They are 3060 Ti's, but they are um, LHR. So I'm not exactly sure what they're mining on. They might be mining on Kapow, um, or they might be mining ETH. I'm not, I'm not really sure, just depending on whatever's profitable. Uh, so this is one rig, and I'm actually going to pause this video, and I'm going to head into my wife's office. I hope I don't bother her to show you guys the other rig, and then we're going to head downstairs to my basement. We'll look at one more, and then we're going to head out to the shed. So see you guys in the office. All right, so we're here in the office now. This would have been one of the other rigs that are that would have been in one of my other videos. Um, still got the two 1660 Supers. Probably here within the next few months, I'm probably going to sell these and get rid of them just because they're taking up valuable real estate. I could probably plug in a 3090 in its spot. Um, I have an EVGA 3090 uh, plugged in here. And then I have, uh, I'm not exactly sure, one of these is a 3090, which I believe it's this one. And one of these is a 3070. Uh, so I have the two 3090s, two 1660 Supers, and a 3070 plugged in on this rig. Uh, and this heats, like I said, this kind of heats the back part of my house. And the front one heats my living room and my kitchen. And now we're, I'll see you guys downstairs and I'll show you the one that heats my basement. All right, everyone. So we are down in my basement now. Now, I apologize. It's a little hard to see. I would like to say I do have this rig actually set up underneath a table. Only reason being is because it is super dusty down here in my basement, and believe it or not, no dust falls under this table, obviously, and it keeps them completely clean and nice and efficient. So down here, if you can see, once again, I do apologize, the card that's flashing colors and lit up, that is the original 3060 Ti, uh, non-LHR, and if you scroll back to about a year, um, that was actually the card that started it all. It's still mining like a champ. It, it's going full tilt. Now, on this rig, I also have two 3070s, which are right here on the end. These two are both 3070s, and then I have a 3090 and a 3090. So, down here, we have the two 3070s, the two 3090s, and the 3060 Ti. Um, I'm going to go upstairs, and we're going to get ready to go outside to the shed, and we'll run through a few things on that, and uh, yeah, see you guys out there. All right, everyone, so we are outside, walk down to behind my house. And this is the mining shed. Got a few things left to do before we go live on everything, but here we go. So this is the shed. It's about 20 foot by 10 foot. So I got lots of room to grow, guys. <laughs> and I was talking it over with my wife. We're thinking about getting rid of this shed and then extending this shed out this way to the end of my house. And we're probably going to, and that would take it another 15 feet. So eventually we're going to knock out this wall and we'll extend it out if we ever want to grow, which looks like we're going to have to. So had an electrician come and install all this stuff the other day. What I did is I had him install a sub panel. He went in and he installed, I believe it was a hundred amp circuit in my house. Came out here, installed a 100 amp sub panel, and then he was able to run 12 20 amp circuits. With that being that each rig, I'm gonna start off, I started off with eight outlets. One, two, there's four there, four over here. There's gonna be eight outlets. Those are what the rigs are gonna be plugged into. Now, I had him put a 20 amp circuit here with two outlets and a 20 amp circuit here with two outlets. And what I'm gonna do there is, is I'm gonna have some eight inch inline fans um, for the summer. I'm gonna be able to exhaust all the heat in here. So I'm gonna have four eight inch inline fans. Probably gonna have two over here and I'll have them plugged into this one up here. And then I will have more fans over here, two more over here plugged into this one up here to vent out. I'm gonna have to drill holes and cut holes and everything. But, and then this one here will be for any floor fans or anything on the ground. I bought some big, they haven't come in yet, but I bought some really big like six foot or eight foot power strips that I planned on plugging into that one. It's gonna run, I'll put it down, it'll run down here, and then I'm gonna put box fans and some other fans in between the rigs to move the heat. And then like I said, the inline, the eight inch inline fans that'll be up here will grab the heat and take it out. Um, right now, it is pretty cold where I live in Pennsylvania. It's about, 33 degrees right now 
Um, it is pretty cold, so can't wait to get the rigs in here and get this thing up and warm, up and running. Um, in case anybody was wondering, to have my panel and everything done, to have all these outlets installed and to have everything done, um, it cost me about 1200 bucks. Uh, it took a guy about six hours to do it all and it cost about 1200 bucks. Um, was not as expensive as I thought or as expensive as the internet told me it was going to be. I did a lot of research before I dove into this and pretty much everywhere online was telling me it was going to be like 2,500 bucks, $3,000, depending upon labor and things like that. And the number one thing is everybody was saying is how far it has to go from the panel to the sub panel. And, um, Mine had to go about 40 feet, 35 feet in through the year and then through my basement and everything to the actual panel. So I'm not really sure. Like I said, I, I called an electrician. They came in and that was the end of it. So I thought it was a really good deal. Thought he did a really, really good job. So I appreciate all you guys being patient with me through all this. Like I said, I know I haven't put out any content in a while. I'm going to really start moving content out of this channel. Um, please let me know. Any questions, comments, anything like that, i um, glad to be back. I'm glad to have all your support and looking forward to the next video. Uh, I don't know when exactly that will be. Hopefully in the next few days I can show you guys all the parts and maybe we can get a rig or two up and running and start doing this thing next week. So please come back in the next few days for my next video. Thank you and stay safe.